Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about setting up your MacBook to display on your TV. And um, you'll need two things. Unless you have a newer model of the MacBook, all you'll need is a simple HDMI cord because you have an HDMI output on yours. And I think those are the MacBooks with Retina display. So one's around like somewhere in 2012. I'll put the requirements for it if you just need the HDMI cord. But um, if you have anything before that year, you're going to need this also, which is a Thunderbolt to HDMI. That's where the HDMI cord goes. And this part goes in your MacBook because um, older MacBooks, like the one I have, which is from 2011, doesn't have an HDMI output, so it has to use that. And I'll put the requirements um, below the video if you need a Thunderbolt or if you can just get away with using an HDMI cord. And guys, just so you know, if you have like a 2009 MacBook, it might not be able to get audio over the Thunderbolt cord because uh, some just can't get audio over that. All right, so we'll get in the setup. So guys, these run about 10 bucks, and uh, I think mine's lasted for about two years. So they're they're pretty cheap unless you buy like the Apple brand. I'll throw one in the description um, with pretty high ratings that I've used. So what we do is just plug the HDMI in the bottom. Then I'm going to plug it. Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt is right here. So plug it in. That's the side to plug in. Alright, and then I'm just going to plug the other side into my HDMI output in my TV, which I don't know if you guys can see. I'm sure you know which one it is on your TV. So I'll plug it in. Turn my TV on. Then a blue screen will come up. And let's see. All right, guys. And now I'll go over settings. Okay, guys. So now we're all hooked up. And it is on my TV, the display. So I'm going to go through some preferences real fast. So we're going to go up here to the Apple. System preferences. And we're going to go to displays. Um, click detect displays. And then what I usually use is, I have a 720p TV, so that's what I use. And it'll come up 720 on the TV. I mean, you can change it if you want, if you have like a 1080. But, uh, yeah, I keep it at 720 for me. Then you can go to Arrangement. And you can use mirror displays or which just means that whatever's on your computer screen is what will be on the TV. But if you don't want that, uncheck mirror displays, and this makes it like a dual monitor. So if I want, I can drag this to the right, and now it's showing up on the TV screen. So that can be pretty handy if you're working on a project or something to have dual monitors, but I don't really need it, so I'm going to put back mirror displays. Alright, and that's all for the video right now, so we'll do audio, so go back to System Preferences. We're going to go to Sound, um, go to Output up top, and normally it was on internal speakers, and that's uh, coming out of your computer, the, the noise coming out of your computer. We want to change it to whatever the TV is on here. So select the device for the TV, and that's the LCD TV for me. And that's about it for settings, guys. Um, you should be able to watch TV on or watch uh, stuff on your TV from your computer. Um, if you have any trouble with audio, I'll put a link that helps solve the problem. It kind of goes in depth, so I'm not going to put it on this video. So uh, just click the link. I'll throw it somewhere on screen. All right, thanks, guys.